All right, fishy folks. It is Thursday afternoon, about one o'clock. Hopefully you'll see this on Friday, but I am on my way to Southwest Cargo to pick up my first wholesale fish order. I have a couple of shows coming up and I'm having a hard time locating uh, some fish that I sell quite well in my fish room. So I decided to go to a wholesaler. So I have a business license. Michael Fish Room is an official business. Um, most wholesalers will not sell to, uh, unless you have a, a storefront, but I did find one that would sell to me. And um, I place an order on Monday. They asked me when I would like it delivered. I said Thursday. And uh, it was put on an airplane from Florida this morning at 5 a.m. And, or let me rephrase that. It was brought to the cargo department at 5 a.m. this morning. That's when they checked it in. And as soon as it could get here was uh, about one o'clock. It was supposed to to land and, and go through whatever process they go through. Basically, they said I could pick it up about 1.30. So the airport's about 20, 25 minutes from my house. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna head out there. I thought about leaving the camera on when I drive, but that's kind of goofy. Who cares if you see what I'm driving? Plus, I'd be looking at the camera and seeing what it sees, and that's not safe, so. All right, guys, grab a snack and a beverage. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. Check out michaelsfishroom.com and stand by. All right, fishy folks, I've made it to the airport. I went inside to get my freight, and the plane has landed, but it hasn't come over yet. The young man inside said, nah, maybe about 20 minutes, so. Decided I wait in my car for a little while and uh, see what we got. There are definitely some other fish people here. There's a truck over there, that van, Monster Pets, is here. And uh, somebody who just left picked up a, a bunch of boxes that said live fish on it. So maybe it's from a different farm, not the one that I bought from. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wait in the car. I'm going to uh, get my freight. I'll probably film it when I put it in the car. Probably. And then uh, you'll see me unbox it when I get back to the house. So, see you soon. Ooh, FedEx. Oh, hello there. What's in the box? Let's find out. Wholesale shipment order. First time from Michael's Fisher. Came from Florida. And uh, pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a kid at Christmas. Pretty nice styro. One heat pack that's not warm and a pizza plate. And a box full of plecos, baby. Albino long fin bristle nose. They are pretty cold. Long fin bristle nose. They are pretty small. You'll see these all in the tank, guys. Don't worry. Albino, come on. Albino long fin bristle nose. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm like a kid at Christmas. Albino long fin bristle nose. Come on. Albino long fin bristle nose. Oh, these look interesting. Colombian spotted plecos L165. <coughs> I'm fine. And these guys are albino chocolate plecos. Can't really see them in the bag, so. What? Another box? Yes, I have another box. Why don't you guys stand by? I'll go get the other box. All right, fishy folks, box number ni. That's two in Japanese. One is Ichi. More cool styrofoam. Heat pack, tape to the top, ice cold. 
making a mess over here, folks. All right, bag full of guppies. Hmm. Blue Delta males. Re gold, gold Delta females. Nope, those are males. Green Cobra males. Looks like there's some methylene blue in the bag, so it's hard to see what they look like. Blue Delta females. Blue Delta males. Ooh. Long, thin, bristlenose plecos. More plecos. I'm going to put the plecos with the plecos. Now, I had originally plans but all the plecos in one quarantine tank, but I don't think I'm going to have room. Here are some more... Come on, buddy. There you go. Albino long fin bristle nose. Pretty excited. I'm gonna put these with the plecos. And these I've already gone through, so we're gonna put these over here. All right, these are probably all the females. Red Cobra female, Green Cobra female, Red Tuxedo males, ooh, yeah baby, yeah baby, and Red Tuxedo female, so Red Cobra females, Green Cobra females, Tuxedo males and females, Blue Delta female, Blue Delta male, Gold Cobra male, uh oh, something is amiss, awry if you will, not pumpernickel, awry, get it? Anyway. Let me check the invoice and uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're back. Everything has been added to the tanks and I've labeled everything. So here are the long fin bristlenose plecos. Uh, they're long fin uh, bristlenose. They're kind of small. I'm gonna grow them out, uh, probably try to breed them. I added another piece of wood from the rock lady and a rock to weigh it down because obviously it's not waterlogged you can see the air coming out of it over here we have the Colombian spotted plecos the l165s now keep in mind these were just put in the tank clearly i need a filter in this tank and some air which i have to figure that out because i wasn't planning on putting them here uh over here we put the albino bristlenose plecos and you can see one over there just chilling they're pretty cool looking plecos. There we go. Hey, buddy. All right, let's look at some guppies and some long fin albinos. Yeah, just moving around the fish room. All right. Here are the long fin albino bristlenose. Um, much smaller than I thought they were going to be. Now I know. You can see there's two filters in here, and the reason is... The big filter is has only been in a tank for maybe a, five days. This smaller filter is uh, already cycled or seasoned, if you will. And so I put that in there for the good bacteria, but I'm running air to the big one. So, Also, this tank's a little low on water. My drain sort of spun and emptied, so I'm going to add a little bit more water before I go ahead and put meds in. Over here we have the blue delta guppies. And, uh, you know, these are pretty nice. They're still a little pale from shipping. You know, they were in Florida this morning, then on an airplane, you know, then put in a box, then put in an airplane. Um, so, yeah, hopefully later or the next time I show them, you will really like them. I kind of like them now, but moving over to the Red Tux guppies. Uh, I These are what they're called, Red Tux, I think. Uh, I, I actually call them, 
uh, half black red deltas. So I got to decide on what name I'm going to keep. But I mean, these are guppies that I just got in. And then, you know, these are guppies that I've been breeding. So pretty much the same thing. Um, I just, I'm just going to decide on a name and keep it. I'm probably going to keep the half black uh, red delta or half black red tux. See what, see what sticks. You know how it goes with guppy names. All right, let's move over to the green cobras. I did have one DOA green cobra female. Uh, she was dead in the bag. I'm not even going to complain. It's one. So looking pretty nice. And then over here we have the gold cobras. Also looking pretty nice. I'm sure they'll color up a little bit as, uh, as they get used to their surroundings. Well, that's it for my epic, epic unboxing of my first wholesale order. I'm probably going to do it again. Um, so far, everything was pretty smooth. I mean, I did have to take a day off of my real job to do it. I'm glad I did because if I would have taken, like, the afternoon off, I probably could have done it if I took the afternoon off. Um, but I wanted to make sure I was prepared for my first time. And, uh, you know, the guys at Southwest were pretty cool. And, yeah, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it didn't bore you too much. I know there's plenty of other unboxings out there. But this is mine. This is how I do it. This is what I think uh, you guys will like. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, of course, have a great day. All right, fishy folks, I just want to go over the quarantine meds that I use and the procedure once again. I've done a few videos on it. I've talked about it a few times. However, with all my new subscribers, people always ask, what do you do to quarantine? Well, I add whatever the dosage for these meds are to the tank. I do it one time. Do not change the water for one week, and I observe. So the EM erythromycin, the General Cure, and the ICX, all at the same time, all at their recommended dosage for one week without changing water. During that one week time, I observe. If I notice anything specific, I treat for that in addition to completing this quarantine procedure. Now... The guppies I got are from a fish farm in Florida. I am 100% sure they have internal parasites. So not only will I be treating um, with these trio of meds, I also will be using fenbendazole flake. Okay, guys? That's, that's what I do for, for quarantine. That's how I do it. Let's take a look at some of the fish. It is now approximately 12 hours later. And keep in mind, uh, there are meds in the water, so the water is a little cloudy. But see that one fish in the middle? Looks like it's struggling. That clearly has internal parasites. So this whole tank is contaminated. And there's one down. Out of all the fish I got, uh, there was one DOA in the... Uh, red tux tank in the red tux bag. So there's another one. She's down. Uh, I got to get her out of there. And yeah, that's that's what happens when sometimes with guppies, especially with um, wholesale orders. It's one of the reasons why people pay pay a premium to buy guppies from local breeders like Doug Gray or myself because they know they're taken care of and they're healthy. So. This tank, anything in this tank, will not be for sale until all the fish are healthy, which is probably going to be a while. Luckily, I have more of these guys uh, from my own breeding stock. So, All right, here are the green cobras looking good. Water's a little cloudy from the uh, Ickex, it looks like, because it's, it's got a little blue tint. These guys came in pretty nice. Uh, a little smaller than I thought, but really not a problem. I'll beef them up. Uh, I have a lot of great fish food to feed them, so no losses in the green cobra tank. Here we have the gold cobras. Also, the water is still a little cloudy from the meds. 
Looking good. Nice looking tails on most of them. I don't see any fish that are down, so that's great. All right, let's let's move down over here. We got the step stool in the way. We're gonna move the step stool. And here are the blue deltas, also looking good. Um, not a fan of that little red splotch. I don't know if you can see. Um, not a fan of that, but that's part of the part of the trait of the strain. So. These guys also looking okay. I don't see any any fish in stress, in distress, or any down fish, so that's great. Looking good. Long thin albino bristle nose, chilling on the Chawa Chawa. I forgot how to say it. Someone told me there's no L. I don't know. Uh, hard to see. They didn't really eat much last night, which I'm not really surprised over. So, and this tank's a little low on water. I will fill it up to the top. Uh, just to make sure they have uh, as much fresh water as possible. Um, a lot of times when I medicate new fish, which is one of the things I asked you guys uh, before, I, I have a 20-gallon filled only halfway, but there's quite a few plecos in here, and I don't want them to be an issue. I don't want there to be an issue with the cycle, even though there's a cycle filter in there. If the bio load is different; it could cause a problem. So <coughs> I'm fine. Shirts available in the description below. What else we got? Oh, we got the long thin bristle nose. I don't know if we can see them. There's a couple over there. Came in a lot smaller than I thought they were going to again, but hey, you live and you learn, right? Um, the albino long fin bristle nose will be for sale as soon as they come through quarantine these guys i think i'm gonna hold on to for breeding purposes because they only got six so uh we got the colombian spotted plecos the l165s over here just chilling under the wood looking good under the wood and then over here we have the albino chocolate bristle nose also didn't eat a whole lot i'm probably gonna get that Get that food out of there in a second. And uh, this is the tank with the Red Russian Lace Guppies from Doug Gray. It's the only spare tank I had that I thought I could put the plecos in. You can see one hanging out there. All the plecos came through like champs. Most of the guppies came through like champs. Uh, this is the only tank I have a problem with, so I gotta treat it and take care of it. All right, guys, that's it for my first unboxing of a wholesale order. Hope you guys liked it. Leave me comments down below. Tell me what you had as a snack. And uh, as always, peace. So the EM Amithro. Here are the green cobras. They are looking good. I don't see any any fish down. I thought maybe that was one over there. Let's take a look. Nope. You couldn't see that. Let's start 